All right. Camera problems again. So, yeah. We can build 3D printers. We can't run cameras at all. <laughs> like, at all. All right, anyway. So, uh, what you've missed is basically just me putting... Um, tell me the size again. The, the little ones are... M36. M3 six. button head, 6 millimeters. They go along the top row, all the way around the back, and I, I still have some to put in. They go around the middle row, and then you switch to the 10 millimeter, the longer ones, on the bottom row, and that is mimicked on both sides. So, pretend with me that you have witnessed all of these going in perfectly, and that we know how to run a camera. But again, for uh, kind of a fun video that's just a bonus, I'm not going back and doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I was uh, thinking, oh man, I can do this in an hour. No. Uh, it's, this is the first time I've done the build, honestly. The first time front to back. I was always interrupted before. And, uh, Multi day this, project. This is probably the fastest to date, and we're guesstimating that it's around an hour and a half, he said. Something like that. I ah, give or take. And a point you wanted to make before Unless the, yeah, what? was to get loose? Oh yeah, so one, one really important thing, and I'm not doing it right now because I'm done. Uh, basically, I got two more screws. Um, but I will say that on these sides, because there's two pieces down here, base A, base B. We got two sides on the top. And then, you know, you're going into these plastic on the top. You, you want to leave everything loose and make sure all of your, um, you know, your holes go in and everything tracks right. And then once you're happy with, with it, you can even put a square on the edge here. Make sure you're 90 degrees so it's not racking one way or the other, like a parallelogram. But uh, keep everything loose and then go back around and hand tighten. Um, again, I've got my screwdriver here on one, but it's still like probably too tight. I'd want to feel it. Uh, you don't want to knock those pen sorts out, or you're going to be forced to go to the hardware store and get a new length that's longer and use a nut on the back, which would work, but it'd be a pain. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is. A completed uh, print about plus metal. So the metal plus here is done, but I realized as I was looking at the picture, we were removing some of the footage from the card that I did not show it with the new hot end. So, real quick, I just thought it'd be fun to pop this off. Whoops. So, to get the, that's the wrong one, to get the hot end out, it's just unplug your two wires. right here one thermistor and one hot so now my wires are free to drop this out I like to take this screw all the way out pops right out so to put it in now before I put that in I want to show you this fan shroud this is currently printed we're gonna do an injection mold on this uh, am I in uh, you can see all this you want me to zoom in no it's fine okay um, so this just fits on there and there's a specific way, you gotta kinda, you'll see. The, I've got the fan here, I've already put the extension on, clips together. Now, uh, the label goes in, because the air goes this way. And this is a four CFM cubic feet per minute. So this little guy is, you know it is quite, you can hear it, it's, it's, it's loud. This needs to be on all the time. Um, I'm not going to show you how I wire this because we're waiting on a part. <laughs> but it will connect to a neat little PCB adapter that Nick designed. And you'll get constant 12 volts off the same, uh, it's actually the Z end stop, uh, which provides a constant 12 volts. So uh, this, this will rotate. I'm going to stick my cables up there. Hopefully still have room for everything. 
Now, it, it feels like it's not going to go sideways. It does, but I'm going to leave it sideways while I put this bolt in. And I'm going to hold it up to the top, make sure it contacts with the hot end. I mean the extruder all the way to the top. Now, uh, that peak, that beige color at the top is actually to provide a electrical um, barrier between, you know, you got a metal hot end and you got a metal extruder and this metal extruder is on metal on metal and it, so if it were to short out, if the, ex, if the hot end was to have a problem, you clipped a wire or something happened and uh, I'm just feeding the fan wire through and you had a short, it would ruin the board. So instead of ruining the board, uh, we thought, you know what, we'll put that beige, you know what, I'm gonna leave that cock to the side. Make a note that we wanna make sure that that has room to go straight. Uh, I, re I realized that it was on the metal simple that we had it running straight. This is a little cock eye. I don't like the way that looks. Battery light's flashing. Okay, so if I uh, connect these back then we're truly done with the new hot end mounted ah come on there we go and then of course i would zip tie these all the way down to the bottom but now you've got the <laughs> the uh, metal printer bot plus with the metal ubis hot end there's your build video Hope you enjoyed it.